Hello there and welcome to Linux Test Go. In this guide you will learn everything about the Linux text of entries. So we will see what are these text of entries and where we use them. I will also guide you to create these text of entries in your Linux distribution and will show you some of the tweaks that you can use with these text of entries. Now you must have this question in your head, why should you care about text of entries? To answer this question let me show you what a text of entry is and then we will go from there. So all these icons you are seeing here, these are the text of entries. So here you can see this is the application menu. This is GNOME, which is why it is looking like this. In different text of environment, it is kind of different. And in different distribution, they have a different kind of text of environments and they look differently. But the concept is same. The concept is that these all icons that you are seeing, these are the text of entries. And text of entry is just a simple file that contains the meta information about a particular application and how to start that app. For example, here is the software center. So if I click on that, it start the software center in my Linux distribution. But how does it do that? So let me show you a desktop entry. All the desktop entries are stored at two locations. So let me just show you the user wide available desktop entry. Simply press Ctrl at scroll down and find the folder called local in the local go to the share and in the share go to the applications folder so you will find these all desktop entries we call them desktop entries because they end with a dot desktop extension so for example i'm just going to show you a desktop entry that start a particular application now here you can see i have a desktop entry for jetbrains ide so if I open it up, you will see that uh, it contains some lines. So this is the desktop entry and uh, this has the meta information about that particular application. For example, how it can start the application, where is the startup executable file, where is the icon that it has to show and what is the name of the application. So this is the basic information. So if I search for this application in my system, in IntelliJ, you can see it is showing me the exact name that is written over here and the icon that is available at that particular location and uh, the file that it will execute to start the application. Now the question that I was talking about why you should care about desktop entries. Now you should care about these desktop entries because there are times when you have to install an application and that application does not come with a desktop entry. For example, recently I published a guide about DroidCam. So if you install the DroidCam in your distribution, you will not find DroidCam in your application menu because it is not available there. The desktop entry is missing. However, you can start the DroidCam using the command line utility as it is available there. So if I search for DroidCam in the utility, I can start it from there. Now there are some applications also comes as a portable. So you download those applications, they are available in portable format and they do not have a desktop entry. For example, I published a guide about uh, an application called Postman and uh, that application comes in a portable format. So you simply download that application and uh, it has the startup executable file. That's it. You do not get any desktop entry. And it is like this. You download the application, you have the folder of it and inside that folder, you have a file that you start the application. For example, in this case, the file name is this. So in order to start that particular application, you always have to open a terminal and then execute that particular file to start it. Now, this is fine with me, but uh, a lot of people find it cumbersome and they do not want to navigate to that particular folder and then execute that particular file in order to start it. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to create a desktop entry so that that application can pop up in your application menu. And from there, you can simply click on it and it should start the application. So let's see how we can create that particular desktop entry in our system. Now, as you know, the droid cam is installed in my system, but the desktop entry is not available. That means I do not get any droid cam icon over here. So what I can do, I can simply create desktop entry in my system and uh, configure it to start the droid cam. So how can I do that? There are two simple ways that you can utilize. The one is by duplicating any of the desktop entry that is available and simply change the name and its information. For example, this is the jet range. So I can simply 
duplicate it i can change its name like droid cam and i can change the name over here let's change the icon as well so i'm going to my downloads folder so i have saved the desktop entry now if i search for droid cam in my system i should get it so as you can see when i type the droid cam i'm getting that desktop entry and if i click on it droid cam starts in my system so this is the one way to create the desktop entry some of you may not find this as intuitive so i'm just going to delete it from here and i'm going to show you how you can use some applications to create the desktop entry so for this you need a menu editor so just open up the software center and search for menu editor you will find bunch of options for installation so this one is the menu libre this is another one this is the mozo i think and uh, you will find bunch of these applications available so let's start with this libre menu most of the applications look similar so you do not have to worry about that so this will list all the applications that are installed in your system and you can look at their desktop entries for example let me show you the google chrome So in order to create a new desktop entry, you can simply click on this plus sign and click on add launcher. Here you have to specify the name of for the desktop entry. So I'm just going to call it droid cam new. I can choose an icon from here. I can browse the files or I can browse the already available icons from here. So I can choose any of the icons available in the icon pack. For example, if I like this one, I can choose this one. So let me search for droid cam over here. Let me see whether it is available or not. So droid cam is not available, but I can choose any of these. If you do not want to choose any of these icons, you can simply click on browse files and to browse to any particular icon. Here you have to specify the command, which was droid cam to start the application. If uh, the application does not have any command, then you can simply choose uh, the file that is start the application. Simply click on the folder icon go to that particular application folder for example we have idea ic and to start the idea ic we have to execute idea.asset so you can simply select and that's it that's all you have to do so i'm just going to type here droid cam now you simply hit on this save button and the desktop entry will be created so let me search for droid cam again now you see droid cam new so here is the droid cam now it also comes with a bunch of options over here for example you can specify the category like the internet category the game category and it also has some advanced features so i'm going to talk about these features now So this was the guide about the desktop entries in Linux. I hope you find this guide helpful. Leave a like, hit the subscribe and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I shall catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and keep enjoying Linux.